God's story, Jesus and the 10 lepers. So part of God's story is about Jesus and the 10 lepers. And it goes like this. Jesus did a lot of amazing miracles when he lived on earth. A miracle is something amazing that only happens because of God's power. Jesus healed people of sickness and brought people back to life. He calmed a raging storm and walked on water. He forgave people of their sins and showed them how to follow God. And he could do it all because he is the Son of God. One day, Jesus was traveling to Jerusalem. As he was going into a village, 10 men walked up to him who had leprosy. Leprosy was a skin disease that could be caught very easily just by touching someone. Because of this, people with leprosy were sent away and called unclean. No one wanted to be close to them. They weren't even allowed to be around their family or friends. When these 10 men with leprosy saw Jesus coming, they called out to him and said, Master, have pity on us. They must have known who Jesus was and that he had the power to heal people. They hoped Jesus would heal them. Remember, these 10 men were so sick that people were normally scared of them because they didn't want to catch their sickness. But Jesus wasn't like most people. He wasn't scared at all. He said to them, go, show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were healed. When one of the men who had leprosy saw that he was healed, he came back to Jesus and praised God in a loud voice. This man was from Samaria, and a lot of people treated Samaritans like outsiders, but not Jesus. The man who had been healed knew that it must be God's power that healed him. He fell to the ground at Jesus' feet and thanked him for what he had done. But then Jesus asked, didn't I heal 10 men? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give glory to God except this Samaritan? Then Jesus said to the man, stand up and go. Your faith has healed you. The man was healed because he had faith and he was thankful for what Jesus had done for him. Jesus was glad that the man with leprosy came back to give thanks and praise God because God deserves thanks for everything he gives us. Every good thing comes from God. And when we tell him thank you, it makes him so glad. Now sometimes it can be hard to feel thankful. Maybe you wish you had a bigger house or better toys or more friends. Sometimes we get hurt or have disagreements with people we care about. And sometimes we can feel like outsiders, like nobody cares about us. But guess what? God is always taking care of us. And even though we might not have everything we want, we can trust that he will always be with us and that he loves us no matter what. He will comfort us when we're lonely and help us when we're scared. He is good and perfect and powerful. And we can always ask him for help. So how can we show our thanks to God? We can stop, remember how God takes care of us and tell him thank you. We can say thank you by singing songs, writing notes and telling others why we're thankful. We can be like the man who was thankful and came back to Jesus. We can have faith in God and trust that he will always take care of us. And that's the story of Jesus and the 10 lepers. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Jesus was traveling. 10 lepers asked him for help. Jesus healed them. Nine of the lepers left. One of the lepers came back. He gave thanks and praised God. We can give thanks and praise God too. And that's a part of God's story.